What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today I got an interesting video for you guys. I wanted to go over some of the best community ideas for new brawlers. So a bunch of people on Reddit submit posts and a lot of times they even include pictures of new brawlers that they thought up with unique supers and unique attacks. So I wanted to go over what were some of the most upvoted posts and what I thought were all really interesting. And of course I want to make sure to give them credit as well. So let's get into it. Let's start out with the first new brawler that someone thought up. Uh, it's called, not the first one someone thought up, just the first one we're going over. And this one was made by Unicorn's Powers, so credit to him. And let's look at this. The name of the brawler is Ace. It says, description is Colt's even more dashing brother. Interesting. And look at that. It looks like the attacks intersect, and it says, throws two cards. Wait a minute. Throws cards. We already have a brawler that throws cards. Oh, this was the idea for Tara. Now, guys, if this was actually before Tara was introduced in the game, this is five months ago, this brawler was submitted, and Supercell clearly listens to our feedback, and I think this is great proof, and it seems like they got this idea from this post, because originally, looking at this post, it says the cards bounce. Tara's cards originally bounced off walls. So I think this is definitely the idea for Tara. So this is clear proof that Supercell does listen. So without further ado, let's go into some other brawlers. And maybe some of these other brawlers might be even introduced into the game as well. Hmm. All right, so the next brawler we're going over is called Grapple. And this idea was made by Prometheus Brawl Star. So all credit to him. Okay, so it looks like this is a robot brawler. It says Grapple's attack has a range of 4 to 8. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder what it does from 0 to 4. What's, does it not hit people? It says, if a brawler is in his range, his arms shoot out and latch onto the enemy brawler, which pulls them in, but it deals no damage. That's really interesting. So, it pulls anyone in, which sounds kind of overpowered, but it doesn't deal damage. So, I mean, you pull them in, and then what? They're going to kill you? Okay, so it says, grapples, hook arms. Oh, if, if no brawlers are in his range, which I'm assuming is in the 4 to 8. Okay, so that's where it can hit people. So if no brawlers are in the 48 range, Grapple's hook arms will spin, dealing 200 splash damage up to four tiles away. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, also, guys, a lot of these stats are before the stats were increased, so you got to increase some of these by four times. And a lot of these brawlers also don't have star power. So we'll just ignore that, but they do have interesting abilities in general. So while wow, that's really interesting, so he can pull brawlers in, and then he'll deal 800 damage per attack, which isn't... A ton of damage. He's gonna take him a while to kill anyone, sort of like Mortis. But the ability to pull people in is definitely a strong ability. I could see that honestly being overpowered, especially in like Smash and Grab. If you pull someone in, they have the gems. I mean, look, buddy, it's gonna be a lot harder to escape now. All your teammates are gonna attack him, and they're probably gonna die. So maybe the range might be a little too high, but that's a really interesting idea. All right, the super, let's look at that. Super is called Self-Destruct. In the last attempt to secure a kill, Grapple can use this. It will cause an explosion in a four-tower radius, so not very wide, that deals 800 damage, so 3,600 damage. It's a good amount. To enemies and teammates, including himself, as well as obliterating any obstacles standing in his way. Wow, so that's really interesting. So it not only does it hurt himself, but it hurts teammates. So, I mean, that's really interesting that you could pull someone in and then you could self-destruct, and you would maybe kill them. 3,600 health, that's going to kill any, you know, cults, any of those health-level brawlers, or any injured brawlers, even. But it hits teammates, too, so you got to be really careful. I mean, four tiles, uh, I mean, is it a diameter of four tiles, or is it four tiles each way? Four tile radius, okay, so eight tile diameter. So that's actually pretty wide. Maybe a little bit less than a dynamite super, or maybe similar. That's a good amount. That'd be really interesting, though, hurting your own teammates as well. You'd have to be really be careful. I mean, you could definitely grapple someone in as, like, a last resort. If you're really low health, you could grab someone in and then self-destruct. That would be an interesting way to go out. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, but let's go on to the next brawler. Okay, so this next brawler is by The Weekly Brawler. And actually, guys, they are a blog, and they have a lot of text guides. For Brawl Stars. So if you're interested in text guys, make sure to check them out. We got a couple of their brawlers shown today. The first one is called Shadow. So Shadow 
it says is a solitary warrior who was hiding in the dark realms of the brawl land until his old friend Bo called out for help. It's interesting. It looks like a ninja warrior. So Shadow is a melee brawler, and his attack has a secondary ranged effect. That's interesting. So he has an enchanted sword that damages enemies when the sword rains, right? And when he swings the sword, it releases a purplish blue wave that decreases the damage of enemy brawlers hit by it. Oh, so that's kind of like Crow, but like a melee version of Crow. That's pretty interesting. I'm not sure. Not the most unique, but there's not there's no sword brawlers, really. So that would be interesting to have a sword brawlers with some swords. It says he swings his sword twice per ammo. Okay, so a little bit like Daryl. It says one... Oh, and also says one strike on the left and one's on the right. So yeah, like Daryl. Um, and it can hit multiple brawlers, so it pierces like Nita's attack. So that's interesting. If you could, like, use grapple and grapple them in and then have Shadow right there and hit multiple at once. Ooh, that would be interesting. Okay, and then it says the effect of the purplish blue wave lasts for five seconds. Um, I guess that was comparable to Old Crow. Crow's poison used to last five seconds. Okay. It says its range is as big as Poco's melody wave. So that's a really wide radius. Not as long as Crow. But you could easily hit, you know, three brawlers, potentially. Uh, definitely easily hit two. So that's kind of crazy. That might be a little bit too strong as far as decreasing damage. I think decreasing damage is a really strong power, actually, over time. But uh, let's, let's see what the super ability is. So the super says is Shadow creates two clones of itself. The clones don't do any damage. They're just meat shields. Huh. That's interesting. I definitely would like to see some more brawlers that have, like, pets um, or different abilities where there's more stuff spawning on the field. Like, Tara's pet, that's definitely interesting. Um, if you guys know, like, the Witch from Clash of Clans, that would be really interesting to have uh, just a brawler that just spawns pets. I think that would be a really interesting dynamic to the game. And I definitely think you could probably have a balance, too. But and it would probably be something that's only good in a couple game modes, but I'm definitely okay with that. All right, so that's Shadow. Let's go on to the next idea. Okay, so this brawler is called Sandy and was made by a user named called Hound and Princess. So all credit to them. And it says the HP is a little bit more than Nita. Okay, so a little bit of an aggressive brawler, decent amount of health. The attack is called Nature's Force and it summons a tornado uh, that does damage. That's really interesting. So a tornado that does damage. So I guess it's sort of like an area of effect. It might be a little slow moving, I'm guessing. Um, sort of like Jesse's attack, maybe? But if it could hit multiple people, that would be really interesting. I wonder if it would disrupt people's movement. That might be a little too strong if it did that. But at least it could hit multiple people. It might depend on how wide it is, too. And then the super is called Uprising. And it spawns three expendable dudes, a.k.a. skeletons. So that's pretty cool. So that's what I was talking about, is someone who can spawn stuff. That would be really interesting. I don't, I mean, you could have them, like, in that case, they could be low health, and maybe they could be really fast. And I don't know, I guess, or maybe they're medium health, uh, just because they might be easy to kill. Any brawler that does, like, piercing damage might kill them pretty fast. But that would be really interesting, because I think one of the things, like, Nita's bear is really, is really an interesting bear. It's a good pet. But I feel like one of the struggles with Nita's bear is it doesn't get back her next bear very often. You know, her bear is interesting, but people, it's so slow it doesn't really get back her next ultimate. Which is not similar to a lot of other brawlers. A lot of other brawlers that can use their ultimate to get their next one, at least a little bit. Except for like Pam and Poco. But, you know. Our next brawler. Alright, so this brawler is called Hal Impeno. So it has a health of 3,000, um, a normal speed... So I guess 3,000, I don't know if I went to this before being upgraded. That's my guess, is before being upgraded. Because otherwise it would be lowest health in the game, but maybe that's what they mean. So it says, Hal unleashes all his built-up power in one fireball that goes from mild to hot to spicy. That's interesting. Okay, and it says, this attack deals 600 damage and will consume however much ammo he has to multiply its power. That's kind of crazy so if you're waiting for the enemy and you're charged up you have no choice but to use all of your shots but i guess it would do a lot of damage so it says one ammo does 600 and then of course two does 1200 but it also gets 
even bigger. Okay, so that's interesting. So it hit more people. And the third, if you're shooting with three ammo, 1,800 damage, even bigger than the second one. And it has knockback. Oh, but it says larger fireballs will move slightly slower than lower charge ones. Okay, that's pretty interesting too. Hmm. There's a range of six tiles. Okay, so six tiles, I think that's a good range because I feel like that sounds sort of strong. If someone's, you know, charges up close to you, I mean, depend. What is the, oh, reload is one second. That's really fast. Wow, yeah. So, I mean, 600 damage in one shot, not a lot of damage. So it's probably good it has a fast reload. The ability to have knockback in your shot is definitely overpowered. It would depend on how easy it is to hit with the shots, but that's pretty interesting. Okay, then let's go over a super. So it says how heals, or here's what it says. How drinks from a bottle of his own special salsa, putting him into a flaming frenzy. And it says how heals 1200 points and bursts into flames for five seconds, during which time he reloads 50% faster. Ooh, that's a pretty interesting star power. Sort of like Bulls, he reloads faster, but he also heals. And unlike Bull, it doesn't matter on his health. You can do it anytime. It's not a star power, it's just a super. So that's pretty interesting. You start reloading faster. So all of a sudden, his reload is half a second. So in one and a half seconds, you could shoot a shot that does 1,800 damage and has knockback. I, I'm not sure if it hits multiple people at once, like if it's piercing or not. That would be interesting as well. But uh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, then the star power is every time Hal finishes off a brawler, he gets a full reload. Ha-cha-cha! -cha. Interesting. Hmm. So, anytime he kills a brawler, it's not just anytime a brawler dies like Mortis, where a brawler dies, he gets a soul. Whenever he kills a brawler... So I think that's good. That doesn't make it too strong. And it probably wouldn't happen too many times throughout a game. But it, like, if you're in a pinch, that would be really interesting because you can shoot it, kill someone. And let's say you're suddenly getting low health. All of a sudden, you know, you reload it you're again. Uh, you're back to full ammo. You shoot again. And then you get your super. And then you can heal up. And then all of a sudden you're reloading faster. You could deal a ton of damage. Now, I guess his range isn't the longest. Six tiles. Um, that's not... A very long range it's like Shelly about so you know that's not crazy long but I think that could be definitely pretty useful I could see a lot of scenarios where that would have a good effect especially unlike imagine you're on snake prairie or if Tara pulls people in that would be really good as well that was a pretty interesting brawler oh and not sure if I mentioned this but this brawler was by the weekly brawler all right let's go into the next one which was by a user uh called scra <laughs> yeah, that's what it is scra and this brawler's name is wally it says unlike his cousin mike wally prefers to build walls okay so instead of destroying walls i guess like dynamite he builds them so that's interesting that was actually my idea for a brawler was something that could build walls but uh, i didn't get anywhere past that so let's see what this person thought of so, so the attack throws 20 nails, which goes back and forth like Pam, and has a similar spread to both. So I guess it's really narrow. That's okay. I mean, that, I don't know. 20 nails? That would be, I guess it has to be really low damage. So says, yeah, 40 damage a nail. So, oh, no, no, no. So that's the lowest upgrade. So when it's fully upgraded, it does 80 damage a nail for a total damage of 1,600. So that's a lot. If it has a solo reload, that could be okay. But um, but it's kind of like Pam. The attack is obviously very similar to Pam right now. Not the most unique. But let's go over the super. It says the super is when Wally uses his super, he builds three walls. So to me, I really love the idea of a brawler that can build walls. I mean, just imagine any map that there is. You could have a totally unique team comp if you had a brawler that could build up walls. I mean, you could just build up any walls and change the design of the map to, you know, suit your team comp. Maybe you don't want people to go on the left side of the map ever. You want to force them, you want to funnel them all to one side maybe and just force them to go there and then you can deal a ton of damage that way. Or maybe you want to build up walls to make it easier for your melee brawlers to get closer. It could make some of those long range maps maybe a little bit less long range potentially. Um, I mean, you could still destroy the walls, but I think just the ability to do that would be really cool 
And you can do a lot of different possibilities with that. And to me, that's what it's all about. All right, let's see what the star power is. Or no, the health, it says a maximum of 4,000. Okay, so a little bit more than like Colt. I'm not sure what the range is, but probably similar to Pan or, Pam or Bow is my guess. So star power is when Wally has his star power, he is able to keep one out of three walls. Oh, so it's interesting. I wonder, does that make them permanent? Or were they just, you know, dying after a certain amount of time before? It says the max amount of walls on the map are eight. I think that's good to have a max amount of walls on the map for sure. I'm not sure how much it... I think it's good that walls can be destroyed. I don't think I would want to have any permanent walls. So maybe I think you could give him a more interesting star power. Um, maybe something like... Well, since I kind of want more pets in the game... What if he had like a mechanical robot that like followed him around and I don't know, gave him a damage boost or if it followed him around and it would like repair friendly turrets that are nearby, something like that. Just something mechanical. I think that would be interesting. Definitely more pets is where I want to go. Okay, we're going to go over one more brawler idea and this one is again by Unicorn Powers, the same guy who had the idea for Ace and this brawler is called Hunter and of course this was, again, this was five months ago so these stats would need to be multiplied by four. So it says health is 800, so it's 3,600. And normal speed says appearance, tons of scars from conflict, has a fedora and a long trench coat. Overall, very bounty hunter-like. Okay, so it says his primary weapon is a Luger. Shots don't deal specific damage, but instead deal 20% of a target's health. Wow, reload speed of 1.7 seconds, a range of 7 tiles. That's definitely pretty unique, dealing 20% of a brawler's health. But, I, I mean, would he ever kill someone? I feel like it should be, like, that would be really cool. Maybe have it be, like, 20% or a minimum of, you know, like, 500 damage or something. That way, if they're really low health, they're not just, you know, dealing, like, 100 damage. Like, that would be a little ridiculous, probably. But if that would be pretty interesting, because then... You would want him to target the really high health guys is then he would deal more damage but it would make him a little bit hard to kill people i mean you could do the minimum health uh minimum amount of damage thing but i do like the idea that's definitely a pretty unique idea all right so it says his passive ability which i guess this could just be the star power is bounty target it says you are assigned a bounty target that is shown by a red triangle above their head so it says, against this target, you have life steal and bonus 5% damage, healing you for 10% of your health per hit. Wow, so that's pretty crazy. So I think that would definitely change up the game some, because a lot of times you find people who are like, okay, this brawler is good versus these other brawlers, so those are the ones you should target. You know, those are the matchups you can take advantage of, which makes sense. But if you have a bounty on someone and you deal more damage to them and you steal health, I mean, it doesn't have to be a lot of damage or health, but that's still enough to make you think about attacking them. Okay, and then the super is called Ultimate Bounty. So it says, your next shot will mark a target. This target is the new bounty for 7 seconds. Teammates will also gain life steal and bonus 1.5% damage against this target for the duration so your teammates get the bounty as well but to a lesser extent that would definitely be very interesting especially for like something in smash and grab if you're putting the bounty on the gem carrier all of a sudden you're dealing more damage to them or even if you know your teammates need some health and there's a bull like right on top of them just throw the bounty on them and they're dealing more damage and they're getting some of the health back i think that's definitely a really unique idea for a brawler um, all right, guys, so those were all the brawler ideas I wanted to go over today. Let me know what brawler ideas you guys have or what ideas you thought were the best. What ones would you want to see implemented into the game? All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you, everyone, who made those ideas, and all credit goes to them. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later.